Hey folks, Tony Mo here, and today we're going to be talking quite a lot about Warframe, specifically my return to the game here in 2020. There's so much to be said, but I've kind of honed things down in on what's happened for me over the last few days, as I've been making my way back into the game with my buddy Derek. Quick bit of history before we move forward, because I think it's important for you to understand where I've been with Warframe thus far far before we talk about where I'm going and where I've been the last few days. Now I supported Warframe in its earliest days. I played in the alpha and the beta. I really liked to see Digital Extremes bringing us the Dark Sector that they originally envisioned and that they never got to make. The Dark Sector we did get is still a cool game and it does have sort of tie-ins to Warframe, Hayden Tenno and crazy, you know, throwing glaives and all of that. But I wanted that sci-fi Dark Sector that we that we got to see in those early, early trailers. And Warframe was like finally doing that. And that was exciting. I didn't play much of that version of Warframe, but I was happy to be a part of that. I came back to the game, I don't even remember. Time is, is hard to imagine now, let alone to imagine it so many years ago. But I came back to it, played it on console, didn't really have friends to play it with, didn't stick with it. About three years ago, I started playing the game again, and this time I was able to find my own personal hook. It stuck, and I actually made content for the game in the way of primarily story content. You see, diving into the game's story missions, playing through those individual chunks, was me finding my personal path of least resistance in Warframe. This is a game, undoubtedly, that has a very, very... Large, high, tall, thick, difficult to surpass barrier for entry. However you want to say it, right? People talk about that endlessly. I made videos talking quite extensively about my new player experience in the past and where I thought it was weak and strong. And there's so many videos about it. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. Just know that I was personally seeking out my own personal hook, my own path of least resistance. And I found it in the game's story missions. I didn't necessarily have to watch an endless wall of guides and keep the wiki open 24-7 to play the story missions like I might have had to if I was really going to dive deep into builds and modding and the other parts that make up the remaining core of the Warframe system. The actual core of its gameplay and combat system. So I just kind of ignored that stuff and I did the story missions and I got through the second dream and I played other stories and I made little reviews and discussion pieces on them because I think DE actually does a pretty freaking fantastic job telling stories the majority of the time. I just finished Chains of Horror the other night and just wow, right? <laughs> like, there's always something to talk about when you wrap up a Warframe story. Uh, there's always a message, a deeper meaning behind the stories they tell. And I think those those meanings, those, those messages are so well delivered through the stories themselves and usually so well blended into the Warframe world and the Warframe lore. And that's, to me, a really impressive thing about Warframe, that this crazy, like, horde loot shooter also tells pretty freaking good stories. So I did that for a while, and then I just kind of faded off of it, you know? I wasn't, like, looking forward to the next story because in between playing the stories, I wasn't really enjoying the core gameplay experience because I still hadn't wrapped my head around it entirely. So while I had found my personal path of least resistance... That's kind of where my journey ended, and I stopped playing the game maybe a year, a uh, year and a half ago. I would really love to hear at this point, before we move forward with the rest of this, what might have been or what was your path of least resistance when you got into Warframe? What was the thing that you sort of gravitated towards that was just easy to understand and that gave you a really clear sense of direction for what you had to do next? The sort of thing that allowed you to actually play the game without feeling like you had to Google every five seconds. And where did that take you? Did that push you in a direction where you continue to play Warframe well beyond that? Or did that do like it did for me? And, you know, you just played one piece of content and then once that was kind of done, you dropped off. Share your stories down in the comment section below. I genuinely find that stuff interesting. And I think reading other people's stories uh, can actually at times be really valuable, really useful, and sometimes even powerful for other new players who are maybe struggling to make their way into the game as well. Let's talk a little bit now going forward about my friend Derek, my buddy Derek. Iniquity, as some of you might know him. 
His path of least resistance in Warframe is the star chart. So much so that when he got back into the game this past week and told me he was going to play Warframe again, he was like, I made a new account. I'm running through the star chart again. And I was like, okay, that's like the third time I've said, I've heard you say you were doing that. That's his thing, right? It gives him this clear, this clear path, you know, that sense of direction that so many people need when they play a game in general, not just Warframe, where he can just do the things that it says to do, follow the path, complete the different locations and, you know, deal with the different checkpoints that you hit along the way, the different barriers that connect the planets together he's just able to constantly keep doing something, right? While also experiencing the parts of the game that he likes, which is the core combat. So even without diving deep into modding or all any of the other crazy endgame stuff, he's playing the game and he's moving forward and that's enough for him. So I decided I would join him this week and this is how I ended up playing Warframe again here in 2020. I was like, okay, yeah, it's already reinstalled. You wanna hop on a co-op? I'll jump on my main account and I'll just follow you along in your star chart journey. And so apparently I was playing Ember last time I played. Didn't even really remember that. I kept playing Ember, started messing around with some of the weapons I had in my inventory, just mucking about with things, following him along, you know, trying to find that new foothold, maybe even trying to consider what could potentially be my next path of least resistance. And just in general, trying to figure out if this was a game that I was actually going to enjoy playing right here, right now. As it turns out, that would absolutely be the case this would be a game that i was going to enjoy playing right here and right now so after that afternoon uh derek was pretty much in the state of like hey i think tomorrow i'm gonna try and hop back on my main now i kind of feel like you know i got enough direction here i, I want to play in my main where all my good stuff is and so the next morning i'm thinking about it and i hit him up i'm like hey you know what you're gonna get back on your main i've never finished my star chart why don't, why don't you come join me help me finish my star chart you know, and then we can maybe muck around with things like the steel path and start to do star chart again since that works so well for you. And we get all this other content. There's there's frames we can chase. There's the Kovalich thing, right? There's so much stuff that's happened since we've been gone that our choices are pretty much endless. But it's a matter of finding the things that will hook us so we can then consider those paths that we might take at a later date. And so we got together. We start running through the star chart. And I think... The last two days were like two of the most formative days for me personally playing Warframe because so much happened in such a small period of time. You know, we got pretty deep into the star chart, uh, pushing past Sedna, the places that I hadn't finished yet, uh, more difficult, slightly more challenging content, and I finished my Breton Prime. I was able to get the receiver for that thing, and I started messing around with the very basic build. And Derek was playing Wisp, and he's got like a really basic support build going. And suddenly, I think both of us are really starting to find that player agency. We're doing things and making decisions, mostly on our own with a little help from outside sources where we can actually clearly see the impact of our decisions. That's not something for me, honestly, that has really ever happened, at least not to this magnitude in my past Warframe experiences. Like I was actually able to put together a little Breton Prime build in the way that I wanted to, in the way that I thought it should work in my head based on my knowledge, and have it actually work. Have it be like, wow, I made this little this little shredder, this little 90-round Gatlin gun, if you will, out of this Breton, Breton Prime. Oh, check out my Fang Primes. I actually got these things set up. These are pretty nasty. Nice little crit build going on here. I'm hacking and slashing. I'm doing good damage. I'm, I'm messing stuff up. And you're buffing me with Wisp. This is so much fun. <laughs> I said out loud the other night when we were playing, Dude, this is the most fun I've ever had playing Warframe. Like, all of these little things were finally starting to click for us. And that was a really, really good feeling that honestly is a long time coming as someone who's got a few hundred hours in this game, right? Like, everyone jokes about Warframe, and I've said this so many times on video. Everyone jokes about Warframe being like, ah, hey, you'll learn and you'll start to understand it in a thousand hours. And in 3,000 hours, you might actually have like 80% of the stuff figured out. But guess what? You're still not going to know everything, right? People joke about that. But I think the, <laughs> the reality is Warframe is a game that gives you so much player choice in every possible way it can. There's so much content in the game now. So it's like, what do you want to chase down? All right, here's all the things you're going to have to learn if you want to chase down this or this or that or that. But on top of that... There is this incredible expansiveness of the individual gameplay systems. So, like, the modding system just has so many mods. 
and there's for different weapons and then the warframes themselves and then some of the warframe abilities have mods and like and then you got your little like pet thing or your you know if you decide to go with a doggo or a cat like it just never stops that's a beautiful and enticing thing i think especially for someone who plays a more streamlined experience like destiny which i love destiny but there's so many times i'm playing a game like that and i'm like i just want more right the problem is when you get more you are exponentially ramping up the difficulty of understanding that more. You know, it goes from a picture book that can tell the story in 10 pages to a freaking encyclopedia that is never going to tell you the story in 10,000 pages because you got to read the other three chapters. <laughs> like, it just can snowball very quickly. So I think finally getting that really small foothold and just doing the smallest of things and having... It finally come away with a clear and easy to see and identify impact on my gameplay experience. That was a huge moment. That was a really, really huge moment. And I think it attributed to the amount of fun that I had with Warframe this past week. And it absolutely has contributed to me saying, like, okay, I want to keep diving deeper. Like, this is the first time where I feel really compelled and motivated to just continue to weave my way into the rest of Warframe's systems uh, to do the to do the dirty work, if you will. There's no denying that Warframe is a game where you have to put in some additional work outside of the game. You have to do reading. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Uh, and I don't even think that's necessarily a flaw as far as game design goes. I mean, I could say some things about the UI design and some of the uh, bits and bobs in Warframe that continue to be really rough to read and understand, even as a player with several hundred hours. But I think there's nothing wrong with the player having to seek outside resources. I just think sometimes you have to be in a mindset to want to play that sort of game. And I can say 100%, honestly, that I was not in that sort of mindset back when I started covering this game. And I ended up focusing heavily on story content. I wasn't interested in that. I was already working 14 hours a day. I didn't want more work. I've got a little bit more flexibility in my schedule these days, the like many of us do. And so that free time, you, you know, this feels less like work and more like something I want to indulge in uh, to experience parts of Warframe that I never got to experience before. Now, I really want to talk a little bit more about where I feel Warframe is, is now uh, as well. I think another part of the reason that I enjoyed coming back to the game is I really do think DEA has made some solid strides in areas where I always felt the game was a little bit weak. In the past, I've talked quite a bit about melee combat and general combat game feel not being the strongest part of Warframe. It is undoubtedly a horde shooter. You destroy a lot of stuff very quickly. And early on, that power fantasy can, can kind of get messy. Like, even if you're killing a lot of stuff very quickly, you don't necessarily feel powerful. You just feel like things are too easy. And I think a lot of that did boil down to the delivery of certain mechanics like melee. You know, uh, in the past, melee hasn't always been its strongest, especially not across different melee archetypes, different weapon archetypes, and even combat. Certain weapons have just felt less satisfying than others, regardless of how potently hopped up and modded you might have those weapons. I feel like DE has done a really good job over the last couple of years in starting to unify those experiences and make more things feel really good. I mean, Melee 3.0, in my opinion, just feels better. Not even talking about it as a mechanic or, you know, the deeper end of modifying it. I just think it feels better to hack and slash in this game than it has ever before. And a lot of the firearms I've used coming back to the game this year have more kick. They feel better. Obviously, the improvements to lighting and the visual quality and the particle effects of the game, some of the tile sets getting updated has definitely contributed to that overall game feel and experience just being like, ooh, shiny, this feels good. But it's been a huge thing for me personally. I am absolutely picky uh, when it comes to like that game feel, if you will. I just want things to be crunchy and satisfying. I want letting 90 bullets rip out of the end of my Breton Prime into a horde of infested to be satisfying, even if those things are super low level and I'm just crushing them with way too much damage. Like, it still needs to feel good because that's just the nature of Warframe. Sometimes you have to engage in that sort of thing. So, big ups, D. I can't wait for the day that maybe you go back to Arcwing because I still think it has so much potential, but I'm stoked to see you guys really stepping things up with the rest of the game. And I know that 
the community is going to have a million things to say about that statement I just made because everybody feels very different about this game, but I think from my personal experience, big strides are being made here in the game field direction, and I'm really happy with where things have gone. I also think one of the really important things about the experience I've had over the past week uh, has been going back in with a friend who's about where I'm at. You know, we're doing roughly 50-50 damage splits. There were a few times where I had some insane damage because... Fang Prime is absolutely nutty for dealing with Infested, and I was just one slicing everything. But we're both kind of in that same position. Not only that, Derek's running a Wisp support build, so he's supporting me. I'm getting boosted fire rates, and I'm able to just go crazy with Ember and having a really fun time. But we're also figuring things out together. You know, we're both sitting there, and we both got our Kuvaliches back-to-back -back last night. I got my Kuvalich. Didn't even know that was the thing that we had access to yet, and then... We were kind of upset because we had both read that, like, oh, you have to get your Kuva Larveling solo. Well, we're in a level, and I'm like, dude, the screen just flashed. We got to stay here and kill stuff. He gets his Kuva Larveling. Now he's got a Kuva Lich. So we're getting to uncover these new things as we're just making our way through my star chart. We have found our new path of least resistance. It's, it's Derek's old path of least resistance, but it's working for both of us now, and it's just way too much freaking fun. I'm... Very excited to be back into this game and to be enjoying it, especially with Tenokan just around the corner. Can't wait to see what's going on with Heart of Deimos. And that's going to do it for me, folks. Again, I'd love to hear about your Path of Least Resistance. Share that experience down in the comment section below. I'll definitely be trying to talk a little bit more wear frame here and there moving into the future. As long as I'm playing this game, I'm sure I'll have some discussions I'd like to bring up again. And it's just a fun game to talk about. There's so much going on. I think there's always a conversation to be had, and the community, from my experience covering this game in the past, has always been freaking fantastic when it comes to those sorts of conversations. Keep being an awesome Warframe community. Huge shout out to everyone over on my Patreon. Thank you folks for continuing to support what I do here on the channel. If you guys don't know, this is basically Tony Mo Hobby Central. Uh, I was going to say 101, but I, I guess that works. <laughs> we do everything from miniature painting to scale modeling to gun plot to video game discussion here. And if you'd like to support this channel where I do not run ads, all of my content is ad free. Whether you are a Patreon or not, you can head over to the Patreon. Starting at a dollar, you'll get access to our private Discord server where you can hang out with other folks, share your DIY projects, your creative projects, talk about video games, whatever else you might be jamming on. Share your beautiful screenshots of the beautiful virtual worlds you keep exploring. Share those pictures of all of your wonderful pets. <laughs> and also get access to some exclusives like early release videos on the Patreon. You also get daily feed updates from my workbench and from my desktop. So you can see the video games that I'm playing and the content that I'm working on. You can see the scale models, the miniature painting you might be doing. Just fun little updates from all of those wonderful little projects. Once again, thank you all so much for watching. Be awesome in the weather. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And I will see you all in the next one.